I'm Jared Belmond with All Choice Insurance. Today, I'm going to talk to you about our sales process, a sales process that we started several years ago, taking a look at foundationally how we could improve it, that we delved into over the last year to create a abundant, productive, and really operationally sound uh, process using data and analytics uh, from multiple things. But let's start at the beginning. Really, the initial process was very simple. So to share that with you, uh, we, we had a four-step process that started with need to contact. Obviously, in business, this is the initial way to start gaining information, gathering information, gaining trust with a client. We moved into working, which was what we do as insurance agents, whether it be uh, working with carriers or any processes we had internally to deal with, and this really was a big catch-all for us. Then we moved to quote sent or proposal sent. So in business, you're always going to send that information out, and that's, that's what that was for us, to know that uh, we had done what we want, and now it's out with uh, the client or prospect. And then we moved it to won or lost, which is, you know, closing the business, or sorry, won or lost, and uh, that's, you know, whether the business was closed or, or lost. And it was a, a simple, simple process that worked well. It was an industry standard. It was uh, what we thought was ahead of the curve because just having a process alone was working really well with us. But we thought we could do better. So we decided to really look at some analytics and data to take us to the next level, level up on the processes that we have. And we did that in a few ways. We talked to our employees. They were a big feedback mechanism for us to hear what's working, what's not working. Uh, where is the speed bumps? Where are the brick walls that we're running into? And uh, you know, among all four of these steps, we found multiple opportunities where we could make our employees uh, work just easier on them or uh, flow a little smoother for them. We also went to our current clients, right? People that had gone through our process. It was something that uh, they were happy to be part of, right? It, it pulled them in, uh, but that feedback was from somebody who went through our process and could tell us what they liked and didn't like about it. And then we began talking to our prospects. And these were people that were going through the process in the moment. So as they were contacted, what did you think of that? What, what could we do better? What did you like about what we were doing? And we did that across all the, the, the systems and processes through. And then the last one was we talked to uh, other people in our industry. And we got feedback from uh, other insurance carriers, other insurance agencies, and see what was working for them, what wasn't working for them. And the big thing that a lot of people don't do is we went outside our industry. Because as much as our industry knows about what we do individually as insurance agents, there are sometimes things that are going on outside of our industry that could take us to the next level and be done a little differently and really help us differentiate ourselves from other insurance agents uh, locally and on a national level. Thank you for listening to me today. I really look forward to working with you throughout the rest of the semester.